Welcome to Gen X Mindscape, the podcast dedicated to exploring the complexities of midlife and the pursuit of a purposeful life. I'm your host and fellow Gen Xer Kyle here to accompany you on this journey. Today I want to share a new type of episode and see what you think. I'm calling it Follow Up Fridays because this show isn't just about talk, it's about making changes, having discussions, and making this a fulfilling journey for our community. As I joked with someone this week, a really great but also scary thing about this podcast is that I can't just talk the talk. Putting these episodes out there means I I also need to walk the walk. So on follow-up Fridays, I thought I would share a few thoughts on what has worked or not worked for me after putting out a recent episode and invite you all to share too. I'd love to build a community where we share and grow together. Since publishing a recent episode that discussed the science of relationships and life satisfaction, I've been more aware of small changes I can make to strengthen my important relationships. One small change I've made recently is taking about five minutes in my daily routine to send text messages to some of my MVPs, my most important people. It doesn't take long, and I definitely recommend trying it. For me, it could be a quick check-in with my kids, siblings, or close friends, just letting them know they're on my mind, or maybe just sending them like a funny meme. These small messages have helped me feel more connected with my MVPs, and I think discussing the research about the importance of relationships in the recent episode has helped me appreciate these connections even more. In a small way, I feel a little more satisfaction in my days when I cultivate these connections. It's also motivated me to do small, surprising things for my MVPs. For example, I surprised and treated my adult daughter to a cold coffee on a really hot day this week. We didn't have to talk much, but I think it made a better day for both of us, so... I'm trying to consciously sprinkle my weeks with little actions like this, just a little more often. Also, in the last episode, I discussed those second arrow emotions, that is, being aware that people in my life are going to be imperfect, and to not make it worse by holding on to negative emotions if they are. I admit, I don't have any great examples, but I'm, I'm happy with my attempt to be more mindful of this cognitive distortion. It's given me more peace about my relationships, and this gives me optimism. I know these changes may seem small, but like a lot of you, I have really grown to appreciate how the consistency of small thoughts and actions can accumulate. I hope you've experienced some of these small moments adding to your days and your relationships. If not, I encourage you to take a small action right now. Also, feel free to share your insights and relationships in your life, any changes you've made that have been helpful on the Facebook link I'll put in the show notes. I'd love to hear from you and build a supportive, like-minded community. Well, thanks for joining me on this follow-up Friday. If you get a chance, let me know if you would like more episodes like this. Until next time, keep exploring, stay curious, and stay true to yourself.